Welcome to this edition of MTBC ePrescription Tutorial. In this tutorial session, we'll learn about how to send ePrescriptions and how to use the Prescription Manager. When you log into the Members area, click Daily Tasks in the Accordion menu. The Daily Tasks tab enables navigation through the new Rx and the Rx Manager options. The new Rx link in the Accordion menu takes you through the Patient List section. Mouse over the search records will display context menu that includes account number, new RX, new claim, edit patient, check eligibility. When you select the new RX from the context menu, you'll be able to generate new prescription. You can also send new RX from the link mentioned in the RX widget on your home page. The figures in the RX widget take you to the prescription manager. The widget displays detail of all refills and the number of pending, erroneous, successful and acknowledged prescriptions for the current date. The new RX is the central functionality of MTBC's ePrescription. The new RX button is used for composing ePrescriptions. Pressing this button takes you to the eligibility verification window. The patient's available benefit plan is the eligibility hub for the ePrescription. If the retail pharmacy and the mail order status is yes, then the select button gives you control to write a new prescription for the patient. The view difference button compares demographic detail of a patient entered by MTBC with that of the Rx hub. The use none button lets you write and send e-prescription in case the retail pharmacy and the mail order status is no. The provider drop down menu allows you to select the provider's name. The system then automatically populates this type and assign SPI if the provider is registered with your scripts. Use the search function to add the pharmacy name. Search for the pharmacy name from all, my list, my state, or patient preferred list. Select the desired pharmacy name from the list. Now enter the medicine name by searching in all or my list. The system will automatically check the drug from the drug database and will alert you for the drug to drug, drug to disease, drug to allergy, and drug to food warnings. If the drug is unknown to the drug database and not found, it will enable the forward arrow button and the blank field to enter the drug. Press the cross button to delete the drug. Now search for diagnosis by code or description by entering the respective code or description and pressing enter. Use cross button to delete the search options. Enter SIG and the system automatically populates the quantity. Select the day supply, refills and measurement from their respective drop down menus. Write special commands for the prescription if any. Check the AW if you don't want to allow substitute medication from the pharmacy. You can also override the warnings checkbox in case you want to ignore the drug interaction warning alerts. Override reasons can be entered in the respective field. Enter the start and end dates for the prescription. The External Drug History tab provides the details of external medications. The dose calculator allows you to calculate drug dosage according to patient's weight and age, or BMI. To send the prescription, press the OK button and you will see the summary of the current prescription. After reviewing the summary, press the OK button to send the prescription to the pharmacy. The Prescription Manager is part of the MTBC's ePrescription application. This section displays all prescriptions marked as acknowledged, successful, erroneous, queued, pending, or refill requests. You can check the detail of any record by checking one of the radio buttons. You can use search criteria for all acknowledged, successful, queued, and pending prescriptions. The search function is disabled for the error and refill request. You can send prescription responses by pressing the authorize button on the right bottom corner of the window. Select record from the desired list that you want to authorize and press the authorize button. In order to send prescription responses, select the desired response radio buttons among approve, modify or deny. In case of a modification, edit your desired active fields and press OK to save the record. 
The refresh button on the bottom refreshes the page and displays any new entries or modifications that were made while using the MTBC ePrescription application. The Get Updates button on the bottom receives updates from the Shore scripts. Thank you for watching this edition of MTBC ePrescription tutorial.